Hello everyone, this is Harry from Iris Communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install your TP-Link 150Mbps TL-WR740N wireless and router. Okay, here we are. For this, we need a desktop or laptop PC. I'm going to use a laptop PC. Here is the CD of installation. First, I'm going to put this CD at the CD drive or DVD drive. As you see. After this, We need to go at desktop of Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista, Windows XP, whatever operating system you have. And first you need to disconnect any sort of internet you are connected. Disconnect from that internet, from Wi-Fi or any other internet you have. You will see you are not connected more with the internet. Now you have to go to my computer or folder option at Windows 8 there you have to search that CD as you see here I have DVD is right in in my DVD driver I have this one if it is not auto run you have to go to my computer you have to click directly on that and it should open itself as you see here it is in this CD I have so many drivers of so many different models you have to find which one is your model for example, my model is TLWR740N and here is as you see this one at the middle TLWR740 touch this one you have two options here first one is easy setup assistant the second one is user guide click the first one and wait for a few seconds and as you see something is opening me some permission I will click yes. And as you see, something is open at the back side of this particular window and you have two setup options. You have to click the other one and here as you see, select your language as you want. Here we have option welcome, install router, configure router, confirm setting. You don't need to touch those. Just you need to click here, change your language as you want. After that, click start. And at this moment, you need to connect your router with the PC for example here I have the router and I will connect with the PC for example from this four yellow port choose anyone as you want put ethernal cable in any port after that the other side you have to put at the laptop or your desktop PC at the ethernal port I put here and it makes some ticking noise after that you have to go again back to your computer click next now they tell you connect your router with the modem and or with the direct internet broadband connection here I have the cable of modem and this cable you should put at the blue port be careful put only in blue port this should not go at the yellow port i put this one now you have to click again next and they are telling you now connect your router with electric that means you have to connect now with adapter here it is it's already connected with the power so i'm gonna connect the router with electricity as you see here it is when you connect after that you need to do something let me show you you need to click power button of your router as you see when I put the power button the lights are start to blinking I have the power lid on what you need to do you have to put the router one side and we have to work at the PC here click the next button 
the router is almost connected with the PC, it asks me some permission, click yes here, does not matter, after that click next here, click next and now you see it is checking the router connectivity, please wait for your computer to communicate with the router, it might take a few minutes, you have to wait. And at the corner you see the internet connection is perfectly on and you are connected now at this moment and here they are giving you one configuration or one warning that is network adapter enable that means the first option is done. They will ask you some permission allow access through the internet click allow access through the firewall and as you see the second option is done to network status check completed that means all is going fine so far click next here, here is three options, I will choose the first option that is dynamic IP, I will click next and here is the my MAC address and MAC address of my WLAN, all is fine, click next here, after that here you can put the Wi-Fi name as you want, this is SSID name, TP link 5D0474, if you want you can change, if you do not want leave this as it is, click next. After that here is three options, you have to put the password for your Wi-Fi. The first option is WPA2, PSK2, PSK that is most secure option, click that one or better security as you want or no security if you do not want to put any password you can select this option and here they are giving you one default password. If you want to change you can change and if you do not want leave this as it is, click next after that. Here they ask you some permission, they will make a notepad document and in that they will save all the password, click next and click ok for save the text document, you have to wait till it is done and here as you see the internet connection in the corner is coming and going at this moment, do not have any internet access, is all cross red, so you have to wait until the configuration is done. Okay, here we are, as you see both the option is done, the first one is saying successfully configure router, the second option is verified router setting perfectly. All you need to do, click next and now you can connect by USS option to your notebook, to your router, it does not matter, click next and finish is done, as you see I am connected properly to the internet, I can open some page for show you. And I open my own page, the IRS communication and is working properly and fine. You have to disconnect the router from the LAN port of the laptop PC. And here too you have to disconnect this cable because now I want to show you how you can use this as a Wi-Fi. Now leave the router one side and do not disconnect nothing else, it should connect it with the power and with your modem. Now go to your laptop or desktop PC where you have Wi-Fi system or any Wi-Fi device. For example at Windows 7 and Windows 8 I will click the Wi-Fi setting and here I should see the new Wi-Fi as you see this is my new Wi-Fi TP link 5D0474. Click this one and click connect. Here as you see you, you have one notepad click that one, copy this password from here, copy this one, close this, click one more time to Wi-Fi setting and here you have to paste the password, okay. After pasting that click next, click yes and now as you see it is connected and one more time on to click Google Chrome. Now as you see I am connected to the Google, I want to open one more page, it is working properly and fine. This is all my friend, if you like this video please do subscribe, if you have any question leave me as a comment, I will try to answer you as much fast as possible. As always for more information go to the IRS communication www.iriscommunication.com. If you face any sort of difficulty for installing this router by this CD. Watch my next video in that I am going to show you how you can manually install this router. Thank you one more time. Good night. Ciao.